Hi, I'm Ariana. I'm a tutor here at Imcamp Mastery and also one of the instructors for the car strategy course. I scored a 130 on cars and I've helped a lot of other students raise their car scores through different strategies. So anything as simple as like how to read the passage to how to kind of go through the questions, how to eliminate answer choices, all of those little things that I kind of had to figure out on my own but really make a difference when you're going through passages and trying to get a top score in cars. So I've always been what you would consider a reader. Um, I did really well on the ACT in high school and reading comprehension didn't study, just kind of did it naturally. I applied to dental school, did the same thing on the dental admissions test through the DAT, didn't really study, did really well in reading comprehension. Um, so I was really surprised the first time I took a diagnostic MCAT and I scored maybe like a 127 on cars. And I was like, okay, this is kind of weird because I normally do much better. Um, but then that was like several months out from when I started studying, when I actually started studying and had about three months till test day, I took a practice test and scored a 125. And then I was even more shocked because I not only had gotten worse at cards, but now it was like by far my lowest section. And so I was really kind of concerned, like how am I gonna pull my car score up in three months? And so I actually didn't really start focusing on cars till probably like a month and a half before my test because I was trying to really get my sciences together and figure out what I was gonna do like in that section. But about a month and a half out, I realized like, okay, I need to get serious about cars. And the reason I really started to focus heavily on cars is because I had a limited time. I was studying part-time while I was in school. I had a bunch of other stuff, like family stuff going on. And I only had three months to study. And so what I realized is like several kind of weeks into it is that I could raise my science sections and I could do fine on the science portions, but I wasn't going to get as maybe much of a high score because I didn't have time to sit there and memorize all the details for the science sections. And that's kind of a decision I made to test on time and apply to the school I wanted. But what it dawned on me is that I could actually do really well on the car section, pull my score up a decent amount and not have to memorize anything. All I had to do was figure out how to approach the passages. And so unlike ChemPhys, BioBio, Bio, and PsychSoch, you don't have to know any background information to do well on cars. And I really feel like this is a way people can have an advantage when they're taking the MCAT, especially if you're short on time or you're just not sure your science sections are gonna be as high. You can get a top score on cars without any of the kind of background work, I guess, you have to put in to the other subjects. So that's kind of why I decided to focus on cars. Um, and hopefully that's a selling pitch to you of why cars is important and why you should focus on cars. But so then once I decided this, I kind of had to figure out what was going on. And so there were several issues with cars I came across. One was that I realized I was really struggling with just reading the passages, like spending too much time kind of interning the details and getting lost in some of the phrases. And I was just like, what's going on? Another issue I had was getting down to two answer choices and then picking the wrong one. And there was always this answer choice that like sounded perfect and then it was wrong. And I couldn't figure out like why is it only one that sounds really good right and that are wrong and then the one that sounds wrong is right. It was just really confusing. And so I tried a little bit of stuff. I did a little bit of the Cars Q pack then I wanted to stop and save that. So I tried some exam crackers um, and that was pretty helpful. And I took my time trying to kind of understand why I was getting questions wrong or like their strategies and so like paragraph summaries and one of the things that really helped me that exam crackers suggest they think are paragraph summaries where you kind of summarize what paragraphs what the paragraph is saying but I still like was struggling a lot and so by a month and a half out I was like okay it's time to go to the double AMC material because I only have a month and a half and so I started approaching the passages very slowly so that I had time to kind of figure out what's going on what am I looking for like all of these things and what I realized after a couple passages was that their information was always in the passage and that seems pretty intuitive given what I just said about how the best part about cars is you don't have to memorize anything but the information was always in the passage and I realized that when I was answering questions um, in typical kind of reading comprehension fashion I read something and then I comprehended it and then I picked an answer that sounded like what I comprehended but cars is different and that kind of makes sense when you think about it because Nowhere in Cars' name does it say reading comprehension. It says critical analysis and reasoning skills. It doesn't actually talk about reading at all. So I think this should be hope for you if you're not somebody who's a good reader because it's not about reading comprehension. It's about can you critically analyze information and can you reason through it. 
So one of the biggest, if not the biggest thing I did for myself going through cards was I shifted my mindset and I would credit this kind of mindset shift with how I started to be successful in cars. Like if I was going to say one thing, how to be successful in cars, this is it. I realized that kind of back to what I was saying that cars is not about reading comprehension, that cars is not about reading comprehension. And that in med school and when you're a doctor, there is no way to sit there and really read deeply all the information. I mean, think about it. Everybody talks about how med school is like drinking out of a fire hose. How would you sit there and read through an giant textbook? It's just impossible. You won't have time. Same thing when you're a doctor. How are you going to read through an entire patient's chart? I mean, some of those charts are thick. Like, how are you gonna just sit there and read every detail? And the answer is, you're not. You're not gonna have time for that. So what you're gonna have to do instead is read to get kind of the gist of it, figure out what's going on, what are the main ideas of the information presented, and then you circle back around and fill in the details. And that's exactly how you have to approach CARS. CARS is about reading the passage, getting a main idea for each paragraph, for the whole passage, kind of individual strategies are up to you, but then figuring out the details after kind of reading the questions and going back for the details. And the beauty of that is it doesn't only help you with cars, it's gonna really help you going forward when you're in medical school and when you're a physician because you will have kind of perfected the skill of reading, getting the information, filling in with details later. And that's really like what I've found to be the best um, approach to cars and when you can change your mindset to thinking about cars more like that than reading comprehension I really think that helps make cars more enjoyable and almost like a game so once you're able to apply some of these kind of insights that you're going to gain from this course, I think that you're going to find you're starting to think more like a future doctor. And that's exactly what med schools want to see. It's why CARS is on this test. And that's one of the other things. It's like, why is CARS even here? Well, now you kind of understand more what is the purpose of CARS. The people at med schools know you know how to read if you've gotten through the science courses. What they want to see is can you reason and analyze information. And I know CARS can be so defeating. I myself has, have experienced this. Students I've worked with have experienced this. It can just be so frustrating when you're going through and you're just not sure, you're lost in the details, you pick the wrong answer when you got down to two, which is probably like the most common problem that all the students I've had and myself have had um, that I've seen. And so this is like really frustrating and it makes you wonder like, are you even gonna be able to get into medical school and be a doctor? But I want you to know that it is possible and you can do well in CARS and that so many students have implemented the strategies that you're going to learn in this course and have been able to raise their CARS scores to what they wanted, if not better than what they wanted. And so it is going to be okay and you can become a CARS master. And we feel so passionate about this that we poured so much energy into this step-by-step -step CARS video course where we walk you through CARS passages. And the beauty of it is it feels like a one-on-one -on -one tutoring session where you kind of get the strategies and what you need to approach CARS. And not only that, but in the very last module, we will go through 22 double AMC CARS passages together. So you can kind of almost be like reading over my shoulder understanding what I'm looking for, what I got out of each paragraph, what are main ideas, and then how to approach the questions, how to eliminate what you should be thinking as you're going through the questions, all of these things you may be wondering now for like, how do you approach cards? We're gonna break down for you in strategy videos, but also actual videos of how to approach cards passages. And going through this process enough times, you're gonna start to kind of intern the mindset of a cards master. And so kind of what I want you to be able to get from it is that when you are taking practice tests or even on the real test, you are so comfortable because we've gone through this so many times that you know exactly what to do, how to approach it, and you're not panicking. You know, basically you know the drill. You know how to approach any cards passage that is thrown at you. So I hope you are as excited as I am and I look forward to seeing you inside the course.